Hey there, it's Jim. The birth rate in the United States has been on a steady decline over the past few decades, and this trend is particularly pronounced in certain cities. In this video, we will take a closer look at the top 10 U.S. cities with the lowest birth rates, according to data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Is there going to be any Republican cities in the list? Is San Francisco going to make it? Let's find out. Number 10, New York City, New York. New York has a birth rate of 10.6 per 1,000 people, which is lower than the national average. New York has a high cost of living in a culture that emphasizes individualism and personal growth. Many residents of the city are highly educated and focused on their careers, which can make it more difficult for couples to prioritize starting a family. Number 9. Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles has a birth rate of 10.4 per 1,000 people, which is slightly below the national average. Los Angeles has a culture that emphasizes entertainment and leisure, which can make it more difficult for couples to prioritize starting a family. Additionally, the high cost of living in the city can make it difficult for families to afford to have children. Another factor that may be at play is the perceived prevalence of fake people in the city. This can create a sense of alienation or lack of community that may make it more difficult for couples to feel comfortable starting a family. Los Angeles is known for its culture of celebrity and image consciousness which can create a sense of superficiality or insincerity. In some cases, this can lead to a lack of authentic connections and a sense of disconnection from others. For some couples, this sense of disconnection may make it more difficult to envision raising a family in the city, especially if they feel that they cannot rely on a strong social network or sense of community. Furthermore, the competitive nature of Los Angeles can create a sense of pressure to prioritize one's career or personal goals over starting a family. Many residents of the city are pursuing careers in the entertainment industry or other competitive fields, which can create a sense of urgency to achieve success before starting a family. This pressure can make it more difficult to find the time and energy to focus on building a family Number eight, Denver, Colorado. Denver has a birth rate of 10.3 per 1,000 people, which is lower than the national average. Denver has a culture that emphasizes outdoor recreation and environmental sustainability, which can make it more difficult for couples to prioritize starting a family. Additionally, the high cost of living in the city can make it difficult for families to afford to have children. Number seven, San Diego, California. San Diego has a birth rate of 10.2 per 1,000 people, which is slightly below the national average. San Diego has a culture that emphasizes leisure and outdoor activity. Many residents of the city are focused on recreational pursuits and may be more interested in pursuing hobbies or other activities than starting a family. This can create a sense of disconnection or disinterest in starting a family, particularly if couples feel that they may have to sacrifice their leisure time in order to do so. Another factor that may be contributing to San Diego's low birth rate is the city's relatively transient population. Many people move to San Diego for work or school and may not stay in the city for a long period of time. This can create a sense of instability or uncertainty that may make it more difficult for couples to feel comfortable starting a family, especially if they are not sure how long they will be living in the city. Number six, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minneapolis has a birth rate of 10.1 per 1,000 people, which is lower than the national average. One of the main factors is the high percentage of unmarried adults in the city. Many residents of Minneapolis are focused on their careers and personal goals and may not feel ready or willing to start a family at this time. Additionally, 
the city has a relatively high proportion of college-educated residents who may be delaying having children in order to focus on their careers. Another factor that may be contributing to Minneapolis' low birth rate is the high cost of living in the city. Like many other cities on this list, Minneapolis has a relatively high cost of housing and other family-related expenses, which can make it more difficult for couples to afford to have children. Additionally, the city's harsh winters and short summers may make it less appealing for some couples to raise a family in the area. Now, before getting to number five, don't forget to smash, destroy, or just gently touch a like button. Subscribe and hit a notification ring. Done. All right, back to number five. Number five, Portland, Oregon. Portland has a birth rate of 10.0 per 1,000 people. Portland has a reputation for being a progressive and liberal city with a strong emphasis on environmentalism, sustainability, and social justice. This left-leaning culture can create a sense of individualism and self-fulfillment that may make it more difficult for couples to prioritize starting a family. Some may be more focused on pursuing their own interests and values rather than starting a family. Additionally, Portland has a culture that emphasizes outdoor activities and recreational pursuits. Many residents of the city are focused on enjoying the natural beauty of the area and may not feel ready or willing to start a family at this time. Additionally, the high cost of living in the city, particularly in terms of housing, may make it more difficult for couples to afford to have children. Another factor that may be contributing to Portland's low birth rate is the city's relatively high percentage of unmarried adults Many young people in Portland may not feel ready to settle down and start a family and may be focused on pursuing their own individual goals and interests. Number four, Boston, Massachusetts. Boston has a birth rate of 9.8 per 1,000 people. Like New York City, Boston is a city with a high cost of living, which can make it difficult for couples to afford to have children. Additionally, Boston has a large population of highly educated professionals who may be more focused on their careers than starting a family. Number three, Washington, D.C. Washington has a birth rate of just 9.7 per 1,000 people, which is way lower than the national average. Washington, D.C. is known for its highly educated and career-oriented population. Many residents of the city work in demanding jobs that require long hours and high levels of commitment, which can make it difficult to balance work and family life. Additionally, the high cost of living in the city can make it difficult for families to afford to have children. Number two, Seattle, Washington. Seattle is another city with a low birth rate, with only 9.6 births per 1,000 people. Seattle has a culture that emphasizes individualism and self-fulfillment. This city is known for its progressive values and tech industry, which may create a sense of competition and pressure to prioritize career and personal goals over starting a family. Some residents may feel that they need to achieve certain milestones in their career or personal life before they are ready to start a family. Seattleites are often seen as independent thinkers who prioritize their own goals and values over traditional expectations or societal norms. This individualism can be seen in the city's laid-back lifestyle, quirky fashion, and love of independent coffee shops and bookstores. The city's tech industry, in particular, has fueled a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship which can create a sense of competition and pressure to succeed. Many residents of Seattle are focused on their careers and personal goals and may not feel ready or willing to start a family at this time. They may be more interested in pursuing their own individual interests, such as hiking in the nearby mountains, exploring the city's craft beer scene, or attending local music festivals. Now. Before we get to number one, let me show you something. 
Check this out. This is some incredible merchandise available at our store. Look at it. It is insane. Please find the link below in the comment. All right, now back to number one. Number one, San Francisco, California. Here it is with only 9.2 births per 1,000 people in the city, which is well below the national average of 11.6 San Francisco is by far the city with the lowest birth rate. The high cost of living in San Francisco is a significant factor contributing to the city's low birth rate. San Francisco is one of the most expensive cities in the U.S., and the high cost of housing, health care, and child care can make it difficult for couples to afford to have children. Also, San Francisco has a relatively high level of crime, particularly property crime such as theft and burglary. This can create a sense of insecurity for residents, especially those who may be concerned about the safety of their children. Additionally, the city has a significant homelessness problem with many people living on the streets or in shelters. This can create a sense of social unrest and disconnection that may make it more difficult for families to feel that they are part of a strong and supportive community. Furthermore, San Francisco's culture of individualism may be exacerbating these issues. Many residents of the city are focused on their own personal goals and interests and may not feel a strong sense of obligation to support their fellow community member. This can make it more difficult for families to find the social support they need to feel comfortable raising children in the city. Okay, that's it for today, folks. Hope it was fun and knowledgeable. See you in the next one. Bye.